Two years ago, I made a terrible mistake. By uploading this video, I got myself into a drama situation that I should have never involved myself into. I would like to wholeheartedly apologize to all of the parties involved, and that going forward, I will never do such a thing again. So to make up for that, I have now compiled an amazing list of World of Tanks Blitz YouTubers and the history of the entirety of World of Tanks Blitz YouTube to make up for that. And today, we're only going to look at the positive. <laughs> okay, that was weird. I meant the positive. OMFG, please leave the po- I dare you to ban me. Fine, I'll talk about them. Hey tankers, you can choose to fast track the countdown timer with gold. But first, let's start at the beginning. This seems empty. We need life. No, not that far. Let's start in 2014, when I started with this very phone to play World of Tanks Blitz. But World of Tanks Blitz YouTubers have already been uploading videos way before that, even though it is 10 years ago. One of the first videos I found that have ever been uploaded on terms of gameplay in World of Tanks Blitz was this one. But that's not all, there is even beta test footage still available, as you can see in this video right here. So there is a lot of old footage available. One of the most legendary and oldest videos ever is this M46 pattern gameplay by Spinny that I've also obviously linked down in the description. But there wasn't much in terms of commentary for the videos. Now that changed with 48 ton ruckus on the 25th of October 2014, uploading this video. 48 Ton Ruck is a YouTuber that has been long forgotten, but was one of the very first before all of the others that are still known today to upload commentary videos for World of Tanks Blitz. A lot of those widely known YouTubers had their start in 2015. His Royal Fatness, the now defunct Martin Dollar channel as well, and Skate Extreme, who also mysteriously disappeared. And who can forget the Jesus of World of Tanks Blitz, Bushka. Then in 2016, we have some meat. See. And also the Mark 1 event, a vehicle that has been in the game since then, but has never been available to play ever again. In 2017, we have the now also gone Armored Pants that started his YouTube journal, and some irrelevant guy started uploading World of Tanks PC videos. Martimata. Hi, I'm irrelevant. <laughs> That's true. And because this is YouTube, there is always going to be drama, specifically the first one being Update 3.8, something so bad that essentially the entire community decided to boycott spending money on the game. Here is a great video by Skate summing up the entire situation. So basically what happened is that the new equipment system, which has been in the game for very many years now, then had timers, which means you couldn't just unlock all of the nine slots. You had to wait for each slot to unlock, and it would have to take up to 20 days. I'm going to unlock on these bits. Open. And yeah. Wait for the current timer to end. Like what? Which obviously was not a great idea, but Wargaming seemingly hasn't learned much from then. Because later, the most detrimental update to World of Tanks Blitz of all time happened. Update 5.5, covered here by Littlefinger, that I definitely recommend checking out. Update 5.5 essentially destroyed low-tier gameplay and streamlined the process up to tier 10, leading to a decline in the player base skill overall. Now in film, any good drama has five acts. And because this isn't a good drama, it does have six. The climax being this guy. Oops. This guy. Started in 2018 with a T-34 review. That is the first public video, but not the first video overall. Now, it's a regular tank review as all, well, and I wonder what became of this guy. Well, we call that foreshadowing. But more importantly, in 2018, the best event of all time. The duck event, and something that should definitely be repeated in Wall of Tanks Blitz. Here are a couple of videos that covered them that I can recommend watching back for some nostalgia. And essentially, it was a great event that, to this day, remains unbeaten in terms of its fun level. But after that, the veterans already started dropping off. Bushka took an extended break, now he is now back and he's apparently trying to finger everybody. I don't know what's going on there. And 
Obviously, here is a Bushka return video that you can check out on that topic. I myself started making commentary videos only in 2019, and five years later I'm still terrible at them. And unfortunately then, the ATGM happened. The, well, one of the worst things that ever happened to World of Tanks Blitz. It was prefaced by the T49A event, but then they were introduced completely with the Sheridan and the T92. Now, there was a lot of backlash in the community against this missile crisis, but in the end of the day, it took Wargaming basically over a year to remove the missiles from regular gameplay and add the Sheridan missile. You can find out more about that by this video from Skate Extreme as well, who then unfortunately mysteriously disappeared in 2020. And then after 2020, everybody kind of went insane for a while, so we're going to skip over that and go straight to 2023, where we pick up the action later. I'd probably earn more money sucking dick. And before we get into all of that, let's have a look at what is the point of doing YouTube in the first place. Now, because I'm not very intelligent, I asked somebody that is. And he absolutely did not disappoint whatsoever, so I highly recommend pausing the video right now to read that. I think it's pretty much the best answer you can give in any situation concerning YouTube. There are different motivations and goals for each YouTuber, and ideally you want to make a mix of entertainment information and also enjoying making videos yourself, and you should always try to somewhat be yourself or somewhat of a hyperbole version of yourself, that's also fine. For most World of Tanks Blitz YouTubers, this is not their real job. It isn't even the real job for that matter. You're playing video games on the internet. It's supposed to be fun. That what really matters here. My goal isn't to get all of the views and all of the subscribers and get famous. I just want to have some fun with a great community. So thank you for all of your support throughout the years. I would rather chat with a couple of people in a live stream than have hundreds of people ask the same five questions every two minutes. And while that is okay and I don't mind answering, it kind of gets repetitive and boring after a while, just like YouTube has in certain parts for myself. Because after making over a thousand videos about the same topic, I've kind of run out of ideas. I've already said everything that there is to say, essentially. So now I try to focus more on grander topics rather than go into pointless details that aren't really that important. Because if you understand the big picture of the World of Tanks Blitz game and also the media game, then you will essentially try and easily find the nuances yourself. Now, some people try to do YouTube to become famous. Now, that is really a terrible idea because most of the time when you stop uploading, you start being forgotten immediately, especially if your content has no impact whatsoever. So there are a lot of problems that do come with being famous and I personally wouldn't recommend, especially in World of Tanks Blitz, trying to start a channel to get relevant. That's not really what you want to do and that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to have fun. I'm just some self-aware asshole making videos and I'm having a great time making the videos. Well, I'm an ass I try to be factual with what I say most of the time and try to distinguish whether something is a fact or merely an opinion. And sometimes I do sharp reviews barely awake, so... Good morning, fellow human. I just woke up and I have no clue where I am, but now I'm gonna attempt to do a sharp review. What are you going to expect? I try to at least protect you from spending money on something that you will regret, because remember, there are no refunds. I try to look at things from a general perspective rather than an in-depth experience, because I do know that I am very unique and I'm just one guy, so my opinion on its own isn't really worth that much, because what I can do in the game doesn't apply to the average player, so what I can extract in terms of performance from a vehicle doesn't really matter to the majority of the player base. So I try to look at the things as an average player, look at the average, what is important there. Now, there are other people out there that do it completely different, and while you can watch them, always be sure to watch multiple reviews on the same thing, because not only are you supporting multiple small content creators at the same time, you're also getting much more information than if you simply watch one source. Now, while there are a lot of amazing guides out there, there is also, unfortunately, like there is in any community, a lot of drama. Now, the YouTube algorithm absolutely loves drama and interaction because that is what drives click-through rates and comments. There are some people that are more involved in drama than others, and we will get to those later. And eventually, most YouTubers 
tend to stop. It's not a great idea to do this as a job. You're dependent on the algorithm and eventually when you are out of that, you will need a real job. And most YouTubers in the end end up having kids or having kids in the end anyway. So that's not really a great idea. What you can also try to do is just steal somebody else's content for no effort whatsoever, but I don't really recommend that. Or you can make shady ads for things like BetterHelp Luckily, the World of Tanks Blitz community isn't really that much into ads. From all of the people I watched, there were very few sponsorships involved, which kind of does make sense, but that is a good thing. Now let's imagine you want to become a World of Tanks Blitz YouTuber yourself. Do you need expensive gear to succeed? Do you need a 4090? Do you need a $10,000 camera? Absolutely not. What you need is a microphone, a PC that can play Blitz, which is one that made in 1997, and then you go, and ideally, you produce something that you enjoy as well, and not just your audience. Obviously, having talent helps. Oops. In general, there are two types of World of Tanks Blitz YouTubers. We have the entertainers, and we have the informers. People like What B. Joe that make meme videos, they're perfectly fine and there isn't really ever any drama and if there is drama it's simply just a meme. It's funny, keep going, no notes. And then there are the information YouTubers and that is where it gets somewhat tricky. Now you can for example base your reviews based on pure statistics but if we have a look at that the T77 in this example has 4% more win rate but if we go to the other side here in this statistic, it has 1% more win rates than the Samoa SM. So the problem with using statistics to base your reviews on is always you can very easily find statistics that conform to your opinion. So if you are yourself watching a video and someone is reading statistics that aren't hard-coded into the game, like for example your alpha damage of a vehicle, and you're looking at average win rates in a vehicle, then be aware that those things are impacted by multiple factors that are essentially out of the control of anybody. So comparing things like that, it can be a general indication of things, but it isn't hard facts. So be aware when you're watching a YouTube video, if someone's looking, and that obviously includes me, if someone is looking at the statistics, of two vehicles in terms of the player performance, the player makes much more difference than the tank. And oftentimes they don't really reflect reality that well. The statistics are a lot more complex than you think. You can't compare a premium tank to a tech tree tank because the tech tree tank can be played with stock equipment and stock crew. So comparing the win rates doesn't really make any sense. So. That's the stats-based ones, which has a lot of flaws in it and isn't all that conclusive. But what is even less conclusive is opinion-based. Now, if you're a good player, then you will probably have an opinion. I am of the opinion that tank destroyers suck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Should you watch my channel for tank destroyer reviews? Absolutely not. That's why, again, multiple channels, multiple reviews, for everything. And now opinions can obviously change depending on either the price of the vehicle, a vehicle being buffed or nerfed, or simply the changing meta. Or you can just simply call every tank good and call it a day. But there is no ideal tank review. As long as what you say is not wrong and makes sense when said, which I don't make any sense whatsoever, so sorry. But as long as it is not wrong and it makes sense, any tank review any opinion-based or stats-based review of a tank is perfectly fine on YouTube. And remember again, watch multiple to get an overview picture because sometimes someone's wrong, sometimes they're not. One of the primary things that World of Tanks Blitz YouTubers, including myself, love to complain about is bad players. For example, look at this video from 2016 where it was already being complained that players are a terrible or from 2020 by Pantooth. Hello everyone, Pantooth here today for a new video where we're gonna talk about newbies because I know you love this subject. The Unicum can't exist without the casual, but the casual can exist without the Unicum. So it is great to complain about bad players, but be aware that without them, there are no good players either. And with players, I mostly mean just men, because the majority of World of Tanks Blitz players and World of Tanks Blitz YouTube watchers are male. I couldn't find a woman. I found a lot of men that look like women. Hashtag sausage party. Quality 
doesn't guarantee you success. You can also upload complete and other garbage and end up as WWE United States Champion for some reason. At the end of the day, when you want to be a YouTuber, do what is fun. And if you are a YouTube watcher, which you clearly seem to be right now, then make sure to get multiple opinions on every single topic and also think for yourself. Don't just believe everything that's stuffed down your throat because sometimes everyone makes mistakes. Let me, uh, let me close if I have any special Google tabs up in here, but let's go to Google really quick. There we go. And uh, let's see. Let's just go to... Serious? Which means I have a big sausage. Some things are wrong. So, some in the ton. Oh my god. Oh, boo! Aye! On each other! Fuck's sake. Stir the table with the table. And then once I've tabled the table, table, I will consume the table. I am the table! Uh. I'd probably earn more money sucking dick. And that is what I would at that point rather do. Not that I'd like it, but it would be more enjoyable than playing the Churchill GC. Now, another huge aspect of YouTube, and you might have already been down there, are the comments section. So, what did you write down there? Well, comments are about you and not about me most of the time. If you choose to make well-founded criticism and maybe even some humor, that is a great thing. However, if you choose to insult me, Please do. It gets me hard. Das Stiffmacher! Because at the end of the day, I'm just some guy on the internet. Now, I also know that with the upcoming chapter in this video, there are gonna be a lot of angry fanboys. So, let's do the original tradition of commenting something before actually having watched the entire thing and give you five seconds to make an angry comment about me right now. Thank you very much for the channel interaction. Please check your grammar, that is very important. Guys, my cron reloads 0.2 seconds faster. That's really gonna help me. <laughs> Quantity has a quality all of its own. We all know who said that and it has been wrong the entire time. I mean, just look at the production quality of the T-34 vehicle. Now, Blitz has over 40 million monthly views on YouTube, which is quite a lot, and that is not even looking at the despicable pit of human misery called TikTok. You don't TikTok? I don't think anybody who's sane or has lost their virginity TikToks. That's just my personal opinion on it. Do you TikTok? Yeah. Well, that tells you a lot. <laughs> the majority of them are going to cover Tanks Blitz, which is the new RU version of World of Tanks Blitz. I'm going to now answer a question that you've never asked. What is the average videos per day your YouTube content creator is going to make? Because, for example, if you look at the epitome of quality, oversimplified, then there has been 32 videos since 2016, which is 0.01 videos per day. And the only one getting close to that essentially is his royal fatness. He's been on YouTube for 3,205 days, and he's making 0.08 videos per day, which amounts to about 44 hours of content. On the complete other side of the spectrum, we have someone like me, Master Gamer, with 8,959 videos, which amounts to 2.74 videos every single day. And then we have Meetsy69, with 3,601 videos since the channel's inception, we get to a ratio of 1.25 videos per day. Now, if we look at my own channel, and well, my ratio is only 0.39 videos per day since 2017, which might not seem a lot. But now, there is one that beats them all, because not only making World of Tanks Blitz videos is not enough, because a ratio of 1.63 videos per day might seem like not as much as Me Master Gamer, but if we also include the World of Tanks PC channel, and the GTA channel, we end up at an average of 3.7 videos every single day. And those are only a couple of review and replay channels. Obviously, your entertainment channels, your funky edit channels are going to have a lot less videos per day because the higher the quality, the longer it takes to make a video. And the lower the quality, the more videos you can make. This is everything that's wrong with this channel, and it gets worse.
So what's the problem with Droodles Blitz? Well, first of all, there is one major problem, is that is the Droodles is already a preoccupied term referring to this type of drawing, which means that I will not be able to use that term in the duration of this video. I will instead call the person that is known as Droodles instead by his actual real name, Turbo Virgin. Now, another very important aspect to consider is that this might be a very dangerous individual of a previously unknown species, as he seems to be able to reproduce asexually by cloning himself. Here is a perfect example for that. Now, obviously, what it has to be said is that the more videos you make, the more mistakes will creep in, which means that we're not going to focus on the small details here. Everybody makes mistakes, everybody says the wrong penetration number, or accidentally remembers something in a wrong way. So that is perfectly fine and not the point of this video, because essentially everybody says things that are wrong, and if you claim you don't, well, that's the first thing that you said that is in fact wrong. So now, we're gonna have a look at all the important things about this individual. So let's start this piece with the hypothesis that we aim to prove right here, that he is a complete gibberish and honestly garbage in certain points. If people are snowflakes, then they'll cry about it. They'll go into the comments, they'll go Ugh! And somebody that is so deep stuck in his own ass that he will essentially die of oxygen deprivation if you don't pull him out. I need to reintroduce your brain to your mouth because you're talking out your ass. And said oxygen deprivation is also making an unable of rational thought. So to prove that, we need three things. Number one, repetition. Doing the same thing over and over and over again without any change. That I did the right thing, and every single person in the comment section agreed with me, and yet your company is thinking that I did the wrong thing. I mean, look at this one. It says, don't buy, shows a picture of the T-22 with an X over it. I have a problem with all of the World of Tanks Blitz YouTube community. Now, this isn't drama. The thing is, people like Swatchman and haters in the comments will say, I'm only making videos like this, again, to garner attention, to get views, to spread drama. This is why I never, ever care about what people say about me. Because so I decided to be the bigger man and to push this guy off. Being better or worse than somebody else doesn't matter. But if you're better than your former self, that is true improvement. However, if you keep doing the same things wrong over and over and over again, then that is where it becomes a huge problem. Number two, acknowledgement. Knowing that the things that are repeated constantly are wrong and bad, and still doing it anyway for whatever reason. In the past, my unbridled passion and the urge to voice out the concerns have sometimes crossed boundaries, leading to situations where I used language that was inappropriate and disrespectful. I have regrettably called the company names and made fun of the employees who work hard to bring this game to life, for which I am sincerely sorry. Oh, hey! And number three, and possibly the hardest one to prove, and that is intent. Because if you repeat things, if you know that you're repeating bad things, definitely saying, stating that the intention of the entire piece is to be wrong, to create drama, to put it politically, a little bitch. Now he does all of the editing and the videos himself, seemingly on the same program that Abraham Lincoln used to record his beard oil reviews on, but that in itself is not a problem. Now if we assume that the aperture and white balance of the camera is set correctly, we see by the clear lack of melanin here that this seems to be a sedentary indoor individual that doesn't go outside much. So we already have established three things. Cloning, sedentary lifestyle, and uses program from the 1870s. Is he a vampire? Now if we assume that Toothpaste would be able to come to life, then I think we would have a perfect representation of who we're actually dealing with here, right? This thing is very white, it's filled with chemicals that make you sick, and it tastes about like a 700-year-old vampire that hasn't showered in 673 years, pissing down your throat. Obviously, I could be nitpicky and talk about instances where he simply didn't do any research. Google, Google Translate, yes, Google. Whatsoever, because he's probably salting his steak. What, what were you thinking? And to be honest, those things, they're just gonna happen. But there are other instances, for example, here. In fact, 
you can't even see Steam chart numbers from other countries. So that's only NA numbers we're actually looking at. Where he doesn't know how Steam stats works. Those are just low hanging fruits that I'm not going to concern myself with. But there are bigger problems, such as the pronunciation of the word Löwe. Tire, German premium super heavy. The Löwe. Fuck. What the hell is that? I mean, I do know that he's American and the American education system is like. I know you're, you're, you are on crack. Please, it's Löwe. The Google lady is going to tell you how to pronounce it. Löwe. If there's one thing you take away from this video, one thing only, it's, it's pronounced Löwe. So we start in December 2022 with a apology video, the get out of jail free card for trash YouTubers. Because hey, if you apologize for it, it's like it's never happened, right? I am making an apology video. Now obviously, apology videos are usually when you've done something terribly wrong and your channel is about to be canceled. This isn't a video about me getting canceled. I haven't made a slip up or something stupid yet. I probably will. We call that foreshadowing. Was to apologize to people in the past that I may have gotten angry at in a battle I've played with and called stupid or something like that, or at the same time gotten angry at on a live stream. Over the past couple of years, I've definitely grown up uh, when it comes to Blitz. What I do is I usually get mad at other people in the battle I'm playing. I usually just start ranting at somebody calling them a doofus or a moron or something like that, which is something I fully own up to. And I haven't done it really at all in the past month or even two months, maybe a slip up here or there. So what I wanted to do in today's video was apologize to anybody that I may have called out in the past either in a video. That's it. Today's video, I will be playing on the Asia server. I am sick and tired of seeing people crawl into my comment section whenever I make a video, whether it's talking about doing good average damage, this or that, and then every single comment is the exact same from the Asia server players. Ooh, Asia server is so much harder to play on. You, you couldn't average the same damage on Asia. Oh, you can't win games on Asia. It's impossible. And hey, easy farming. I stand by everything I said in my original video calling out Swatchman. There are yet they are clicking on thumbnails that are completely clickbait. Uh, you know, while playing and just calling you bad, or at the same time while I've been playing in a game off camera and just called you bad or trash because I didn't like the way you're playing. As I've started playing World of Tanks PC a lot, I've, and then I realized, wow, it is kind of hypocritical how I don't get mad at myself that much for doing bad on PC, and yet at the same time I get mad at other people for doing the same kind of mistakes I make uh, when it comes to PC as people do in Blitz. I'm not gonna get mad in chat anything, I'm just going to channel the inner rage. And if you then do the same things again after apologizing, it's like, hmm, hypocritical. The apology videos can essentially be summed up in two sentences. I made a mistake. Spurious Arabic noises. I can't put that in a video. <laughs> I'm gonna do better in the future. That's it. That's your apology. Apologies like this are about as worthless as the human appendix without action afterwards. And he shows that since then, he hasn't really changed, at least in terms of his drama. And even though he did tell me that he apparently has improved as a person in private, that is very far from the case. Now, there are certain instances like this, for example, which I would say that he said it, but I can't say that he said it because then he's probably going to try to sue me, but that's a spoiler for later, because he deflects about as well as the upper plate of a WZ-121 GFT. Whenever something happens and something will happen, it's like, oh, it was a joke. Oh, it wasn't meant that way. <sighs> I mean, I say dumb things all the time. So we pick up on the 8th of June of 2023. He uploaded a video where he dared Wargaming to ban him. I dare you to ban me. For him breaking the game rules about as blatant as you can. Now, while camping the Kranwagen is by no means a great idea, blocking and pushing a person is not only bad to show on the internet because it means that other people, especially children, will be like, oh, it's okay if I block them. 
And there's the thing, those videos, they're all still up. Now the next day he did get banned and he released a video where he said these things. That I did the right thing and every single person in the comment section agreed with me. And yet your company is thinking that I did the wrong thing, which is incredible because literally you're the only person in this argument that thinks I did the wrong thing. So uh, it's just imagine you don't have a YouTube channel and you can't make a big viewing and platform about this. It's, it's actually kind of a joke because you're just screwed. That, that's literally the best way to describe it. You're screwed. You're really just screwed. So, um... I can't believe I have to say this, but that is obviously wrong. What a comment says is okay, it doesn't matter. You clearly broke the game rules. He did accept some blame for the situation in a stream 17 days later. YouTubers that should be stating all these problems alongside me aren't. Rather, you see Meadzy and Fugit making a video talking about if my ban was right or wrong, because apparently that's important. I don't care whether or whether or not I got banned, and I don't care that they make videos on it. And I was rightfully banned. I did push that guy out of the way. I didn't really care that I got banned. But that one is no longer publicly available. Other people obviously also talked about this controversy, like Meadzy, Fujit. Now here's the problem, that, that video alone should have already disqualified any credibility he had. Unfortunately, it quite didn't. You'll see, it gets worse. And then he does another apology in December of 2023, where he then apologizes to Wargaming because he's been continuously stealing their business secrets by having some guy leak stuff. I, I don't know, or maybe because, you know, he got himself rightfully banned. I'm here to acknowledge that there have been moments where my passion has overflowed, leading to expressions of frustration and harsh criticism, sometimes in a manner that was not always the most constructive. The live streams without Wargaming's permission as I look back, I understand that those actions were not reflective on the values that I want to stand for. They did not foster a spirit of collaboration and respect that is essential in a community like ours. I was incredibly disappointed to see that Wargaming was not including me whatsoever in the finals for these tournaments and the live streams. They had a whole script where they had a lot of YouTubers, even Aminette was in it. There was no mention whatsoever of my name being in the finals. The live streams without Wargaming's permission. I don't know. He reads this script with about as much vocal range as Dwayne Johnson has acting range. Ding, 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 yeah, time to get your ass whooped. And then expects that to change anything, even lying about the community contributor agreement, which he says he read, and obviously I can't talk about it because it's literally confidential, just like how I can't talk about testing vehicles because it's confidential, but he's just like, nah, nah, I read it, you can talk about it, nope. But just a month later, he gets himself into another drama, this time with Meatsy about a tier list that Meatsy made. Now, obviously, that tier list is now gone, it's unlisted, unlike the banned video, which is still available, that's also very important here. If you look at his own tier lists, I mean, th this is how his tier lists are structured. Basically, everything is strong. This right here, or where the average tanks are. You see that? That's where the average tanks are, right? That's not how the average works, right? If your average is super strong, it, it doesn't work for that, but at least it's consistent. Like, it's consistently wrong across the years. Now, and I have a question. Why is the Super Conqueror only in Super Strong? I mean, you like Big Black Conk, don't you? And this is one of the bigger ones, and he accuses Switchman of lying while lying. Which is actually quite impressive. Now, Switchman obviously is using an AI voice, and I will get to that later why that is. And he also somehow makes advertisements for Temu, which Temu is very much the ju it's of the online shopping community. Cheap garbage, mass produced, and it might explode into your face. Why would you change this? Allow me to introduce the British heavy tank FV215B. For this. If you're constantly being distracted by notifications or even worse, real life. The first one's clearly better, right? Is that just me? So while attacking Sweatchman, he, for example, says that the 122TM is better than the Chimera, which. You're about to watch him say that the Chimera is better when it's not. The website that he loves to use for his statistics. Unlike this one, he also likes to use and. Hey, I'm not judging, I'm just saying, if you'd had actual production quality, that wouldn't happen. 
it says the opposite. The Chimera performs better than the 122 TM. So do you care about stats? Like, what, what, what is the point here? You're basically telling a lie to hurt somebody else that you think isn't trustworthy, or in other words, liar, liar, chicken, fryer. But let's take a moment to look at Switchman real quick. I always go for the supercharger and you should too. That's wrong. Shot or even take it out in a single shot if you're lucky. That's wrong. I want to recommend the medium tank line led by the Progetto 65. It may not seem like an obvious choice for beginners. That's wrong. And on standard HE shells, a whopping 105 millimeters. This allows us to penetrate the frontal armor of most medium tanks. This tank is only available on press accounts and some players' accounts. It's the most dangerous tank at tier 3, the Kani Otsu. And now you can finally play in a diamond formation. Don't turn the hull. Stand straight with the front towards the enemy. Come on, I have trouble keeping myself straight sometimes too. It's pretty obvious that they won't be handing out such a strong tank for free, but don't fret. That's also wrong. Excluding the E100, as it doesn't have high explosive shells like the BZ75. Now, these mistakes are either incompetence or, in fact, what I assume and what I have assumed before is the case that Switchman does not speak English very well, which means mistakes like these are going to happen organically. There is very rarely you're going to be able to avoid them. Now, there is one way to solve that, Switchman. If you have channel memberships enabled, then you could publish your videos to members early so that they can check them and see if they're good or not. We know that Switchman did not receive direct contact from the Turbo Virgin. However, the Turbo Virgin did allege that he sent an email warning of the video. But most importantly here, I have no evidence of that email existing, therefore I have to assume that it doesn't actually exist. And the email was not sent to have a conversation to maybe solve these problems in private, but instead simply a pre-warning that, hey, I'm gonna defame you in five minutes, you can't do anything about that. So essentially the intention was to talk down to Switchman to make him look bad rather than having a private conversation with him and improve his channel. Like for example, I had with- He has a thousand dollar microphone, but he couldn't be bothered to properly set it up. So after I told him, hey, your microphone sounds like shit, he did actually change it, he moved it away from his computer, and then that problem was solved. That's a great thing. So there is possibility of a change right there. But that didn't happen with the Switchman case. Like the intention here to talk down to Switchman and also to make himself look better than he is to gain credibility for calling out someone bad rather than solving issues like that in a private conversation that could have been easily resolved and also found solutions, for example. But is Switchman the bad guy in this scenario? Not really. I mean, the production value of his videos is quite high. It's just the fact checking, the error correction that needs to be worked on. I mean, English isn't my first language either. And even though I definitely don't have the right to complain about that, I sometimes say things that I intend different, but then it sounds wrong in a way because it's just It can happen, and the worse your level of English is, the more mistakes like that are going to creep in. That's just natural. So no, Switchman isn't the bad guy here. So if you want to challenge him to a 1v1, don't worry, because you will win very easily. Now, here's the thing about 1v1s. They're pointless, right? Challenging somebody to a 1v1 is the most pointless thing you can ever do, but he did it anyway, and then, when he lost, he was like, oh, it, it didn't matter. I am sick and tired of playing around with kids. I'm here to get it on with the big boys. Then he got banned from the official Wargaming World of Tanks Blitz Discord server for what else but starting drama once again. Now, the thing is, it's somewhat quite easy to get warned on there. Like, I got warned on the official server for calling myself annoying AF. AF, not, not anything else, just annoying AF. That's what I called myself. I got warned for that. So, yeah, he just loves drama, doesn't he? But he also... Droodles loves black people. And he also just made excuses for losing his 1v1, which that actually shows you how fragile the ego actually is in that regard when something like that hurts your bottom line. You have to argue with things like that. You just can't, you can't avoid it. You have to argue because it hurts your tiny little ego that much. Now, but it's like this tiny. There is a other thing that is probably tiny and little, but we're not gonna get into that. You don't have to be going looking for a pot of gold on the fucking end of the rainbow. I've got a fucking pot of gold for you in the fucking pants, don't I? 
The only thing that has it, that a thing has to be is not wrong. As long as it's not wrong, it doesn't matter what it is. He also claims things that EU, the EU server is easier than the NA server. And also when I made a video about that, just repeated what I said in the video and then didn't actually do the exp He has the time to do this. He could play like 500 battles and prove me wrong, but he didn't because I'm, so, I'm just disappointed. Like this is someone that, that could bring value to the World of Tanks Blitz community, but instead is a you are so skinny and ghostly pale white that if this were the 80s, Hogan would have snorted you. No, for fuck. Because here's the thing. If you have to say that you're an amazing player, that you're really good at something, you're not. Now, obviously, if you do want to hurt his tiny, fragile ego, for example, something you could say is this. His royal fatness. Who's just straight up better than me. I mean, look at him. And Drudel's touched me. Is a much better player than him, and he would easily whip his ass any day of the week. Thinking about it, I wouldn't mind him whipping my ass either, but they're pointless. Like comparing your stats to the stats of somebody else that has a different intention of playing the game, that has different motivations, that plays different vehicles, that plays at a different time, that plays on a different server even, that has a different platoon rate. Comparing your statistics to somebody else like that does not really matter whatsoever. What is important is that you improve yourself compared to your previous self. What the stats of somebody else is is essentially completely irrelevant. So as long as somebody carries their own weight, it's perfectly fine. And if you have to say, oh, hey, look at me, look at my great stats, look at me, uh, uh, whatever that is supposed to mean. I don't know, it's maybe skiing. It's like skiing, you know, I'm skiing. <laughs> at least we have already proven that he's not racist. Droodles loves black people. This is the grave name. He told me two years ago that he doesn't clickbait anymore, yet a lot of his videos are simply just clickbait. Now, he's obviously going to deny that it's clickbait and do the same thing that he always does, is simply deflect and say, but, uh, but what about that? But what about that? It's also called whataboutism. I mean, he then appeared on his birthday in my stream to say that. But that's just a classic case of misdirection that's to demonstrate we say the same things again. The Turbo Virgin is not allowed to criticize me or say bad things about me because he stole skill for LTU's haircut. See, two things, completely non-related and non-sequitur. The Well of Tanks PC work is no better and seemingly because in his first couple of videos he already immediately attacked one of the most legendary and beloved figures of the community, Quickie Baby, in a clickbait video. And obviously, if you're a company, then the things that are said need to be measured a lot more than if it's simply a private person doing it for fun. Because if your intention is to make money, then it is important to make that money ethically. I know we live in capitalism, that's never the case, and that's not how you get rich. I mean, look at this grown-up pubic hair, so... He also seems to have a problem with his own viewers and also his temper because he loves to rage a lot. Here's a couple of clips you can check out for that. And to be fair, the only time a joke was delivered on any of his streams was when his mother gave birth. Take a comment that you disagree with and then you put it in a video, you make thousands of views from that, ridiculing somebody else. Essentially, here in this video, he even doxed somebody's in-game account, which by the way is also not allowed by the game rules. Uh, means that this guy probably doesn't understand the game too much. So, I went over to his channel and I tried to find a video where he showcased his account name so I could see if he was doing well in the 1 to 1 base. So I found this battle where he showcased him acing a tier 4 and at the end of the battle it showcased his account name. So I was able to grab this account name, go over to Blitzstars, and then find his tier 10 stats. And oh my god. Yeah, well, what am I supposed to say there? Like literally, the guy is essentially playing batshit bingo and he is winning. However, before we further get into this topic, I need to tell you about some breaking news that has just unfolded during the making of this piece. We will now go to our reporter on the ground to cover the specifics. Yes, I've just received the word that another video has hit the Twink Tower, this time causing even further irreparable damage on a level never seen before. The video is of absolute high quality with great editing and a great script, and it is definitely a must watch if you are following this topic closely. 
So about those tier lists, right? I did tell him about this, that I don't think that his tier list style is the greatest, and that's it, that's all I said. And I also told him that I made tier lists myself, but not even a day later, he said that I never made tier lists and that I called his tier list the worst in the world. Now, you might assume that was just incompetence or an accident, but he in fact did repeat that same thing again in a very recent video. And I'm sadistic. Usually I try to make the most unbiased videos possible. You know, uh, Martimator absolutely tries hating on my tier lists because I put every tank in good. When I do my tier list, I'm ranking it specifically on its own. I mean, he tried to prove to me that his tier lists are better by showing that his average like ratio of the video is worse than his channel average, which quite a great proof. Now here's the actual problem I have with tier lists. They're not actually normally distributed because his average is in the super strong category, which by definition makes the average vehicle average. But is a super strong and average the same thing? Like all you would have to do is simply make a cut here, rename that thing, and now you have a perfectly fine tier list. And I really dislike how he says hate, because hate implies emotion. I have no emotional problem. I have a factual problem. Meadzy and I were friends. I don't think he likes me anymore. I've tried to talk to him, but he won't message me. Uh, but if you were to make a tier list on the five cutest dogs, and you had five super cute dogs in front of you... Yeah, but that's kind of the point, isn't it? If you have five equally cute puppies, they're all an average amount of cute, because you have no outlier that's above and no outlier that's below. So it is very safe to assume that either he has very big memory problems or he was lying on purpose about those things that I said. So if there were a reply to this video, I can very much assure you that it's going to be filled with deflection and lies. Now it all started on a World of Tanks Blitz YouTuber server quite a couple of years ago and he even threatened me with releasing that. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. I was a troll. I said things I shouldn't have said. However, I still very much stand by the fact that promoting gambling makes you a terrible person. That is something I still wholeheartedly believe in. But now, hold on a minute. I was, yes, I was rightfully kicked from that server. I'm not even going to argue that, whatever. But here's the thing about the crate discussion, right? You can argue the same thing from multiple angles if they're not exclusive, if they're not self-contradictory, which our guy here is very good at con contradicting himself, often even within the same sentence if you pay very close attention. But here's the thing. If you argue from a company side, from a legal side, then yes, the crates are legal. They absolutely shouldn't be, but they are illegal. You can sell them. They generate an insane amount of revenue. So from from a business perspective, then that selling those things is an absolutely amazing thing. And if you then purchase those things, yes, that is in fact your fault. But what I realize is, wait a minute, I'm not on Wargaming's side here, right? I make videos for you guys, so what I should do is I should take the consumer side, and on the consumer side, it essentially is the opposite. Well, from a business perspective, the crates are a great thing to sell because they generate a lot of revenue. From the consumer side, the crates are absolutely awful because they essentially get you no return and you pay extra to get something that you don't ever have. Like, y you can argue the same thing from two different points and still end up as, as a conclusion that is non-contradictory, right? That it, it doesn't work that way that you always have this one same pointy opinion. I try to at least look at things from multiple different sides when I can. Because the worst thing you can do is assume that you already know everything when you in fact know nothing. Obviously you can reach a point where you're like, okay, I know enough, I'm fine now. But yeah, at the end of the day, there is a lot more that we don't know than what we do know. So here's the thing. We are all stupid. Some of us are just less so. And it is also noteworthy that Meaty was the one that did kick me from that server. Now I have absolutely no problem with Meaty, but Meaty at the time was the one that pushed our boy here into the spotlight because without Meaty, he might have never reached the heights that he've come to now. But the main problem that arises between the Virgin and me was essentially a very dumb argument in which I simply decided like, really, is that what you want to argue about? Because what I said verbatim, the 113 and the Object 260 are similar because they are both based on the IS-2. That's all I said. That, that's the sentence that the argument revolved around, essentially. What I intended is they both are based on the IS-2. That's how they're similar. But he somehow tried to disprove it with blitz stats over... Anyway, that, that's kind of how it started. So it was pretty funny. 
I trolled him too much. I think I caused a bit too much emotional damage. So I'm really sorry about that. And I know a really good therapist and I'm sure she'll be able to help you out quite a lot if you do require the help. But let's be honest here, he is a circus clown. He presents himself as a circus clown, so not making fun of him, not laughing about it, would pretty much be a disservice to the character that he's playing. So of course, I made fun of him quite a lot, arguably too much. Then there are a couple of good instances though, because for example, a couple of months ago, before he did all the drama things again and got banned, I don't really care. I did platoon with him in a stream, because why not? I don't hate the guy. It's not like he's a terrible person or anything like that. He's just an idiot that doesn't know any better. I mean, come on, he needs help. Then I made a stats video about the North American server, starting essentially an idea of how you would theoretically prove how one server would be better than the other. It was just a simple experiment that isn't really that conclusive. But, of course, five minutes after the video came out, at five in the morning, he decided to come into my comment section, not that kind of way, but repeat the things I've already said in the video. That's quite impressive. Well done. I mean, you summed it up better than I do. If you would sum up your own videos as well as you sum up mine, they wouldn't have to be 20 a day and you could make one good video. Maybe. And then he somehow told me that he wasted eight minutes of his life. Hey, buddy, I have news for you. If you look at the birth certificate, like my birth certificate, your birth certificate, doesn't really matter. But if you look at that, then you know how much time you've actually wasted. But wait, does that mean if he shows up eight minutes after I post the video at 8 a.m., does he have notifications enabled for my channel? And if that is the case, thank you very much. And if you too want to be as cool as <laughs> subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notifications for this channel. But essentially, that would have been as much as there is to say about that entire situation. But then, he decided to do something that I really don't like. I don't care if you insult me, I don't care if you call me out for whatever, because to all intents and purposes, I am a terrible person. But there is one thing that I very much don't like, and that is being threatened. I mean, it's not the first time that I was threatened. I mean, I was threatened to have my channel deleted for two years ago. Very nice. Good morning. I'm extremely angry. This screenshot right here. This guy... <laughs> now, he says things like, oh, it was just a joke, or oh, the North American competitive scene doesn't like me. I wonder why that is, my friend. There might be a very good reason for that. It might just be you. Is that really, is that really how that works? Do you want to trust somebody that says things like that? Because here's the thing. Now, I'm gonna give you a secret here. You don't say something in a DM that you wouldn't also say in public, because as soon as you say it, you can't kind of unsay it again, which is a bit of a problem, you know? Especially if he then goes on and threatens me to sue me for whatever, I don't know, or take have YouTube take down the video, or if you're sick of dealing with this type of thing, then maybe the good idea, the way to solve this, is to stop being a bit. And then the next day, the very next day, on his stream, he says this. Oh no. Israel Fatness doesn't hate anyone. The man's like the Mother Teresa. Now I guarantee Fatness uh, behind, behind YouTube. I have a friend who likes to say uh, a specific slur a lot. Uh -huh. and, and he's platooned with Fatness quite a bit, so. Okay, yeah, that, so. that says a lot. I don't oh, like just it. like me for real. Yeah, like I, I don't. I think Gent's great, but I, I don't. Mm. I don't have a problem with Gent. Like I, I don't. Mm. I don't have a problem with Gent. Like he can say whatever he wants, free speech. But uh, <laughs> okay. if you platoon with him, it means you don't care about what he says, which means that is you, true. Yeah. So. And you're about allowed to criticize other people, but whenever someone criticizes you, you come around and go cry about it. What we call that is double standards. And then we get to a further damning piece of evidence, and that is this chat right here. If my opinions were wrong, people would stop watching. Well, that sentence is very easily to completely destroy with simply one picture. 
Just because somebody has a large audience does not mean that they hold value, that they hold correctness. So this, in the very fact, is a statement that is absurd and unfortunately does show a level of arrogance that probably is irredeemable. My man, redeem these nuts. I'm gonna redeem you for now sitting through this entire piece of whatever you think it is by showing you some pictures from where I was at the zoo, literally the day that he threatened to take down the video before even seeing it, which is just lovely. So here are 35 seconds of zoo pictures. Enjoy. Why was he so mad in the first place? Well, I can trace that back to one very specific picture, and that is this one. No, 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 no! Because if it were to be true, then that would be the ultimate nail in the coffin. However, here's the thing about the internet. If you don't have a source for something, if you don't have evidence for something, you cannot claim for certain that it is true. So only the things that are verifiable, that are traceable back, like the school one, can be verified as true. Because faking Discord messages is quite easy. For example, like this. Wait, that's actually real. Anyway, it is very important to check your facts on the internet to not get into problems like this because there are plenty of things to say about somebody, plenty of things to find about somebody, but it is always important to check whether things are accurate and whether they actually happened, because something like this can be very dangerous if it is spread and it is not known whether it is real or not real. It is very important to not assume these types of things to be true when they can't be verified, because that would not only be a terrible thing to do on my part, but it would also completely subvert the point of this video, which is to find accurate statements instead of further participating in adding garbage to the system. So at the end of the day, am I mad at him? Do I hate him? No, absolutely not. Hello, meta me again, and I'm pretty much almost done with the video. And the point of this was to learn how to do something like this, like to do research, to organize a file structure, to do editing, finding out that I need more RAM because it wouldn't take it. For example, all those kind of things. That's what the actual point of this video is, to combine something I don't know, something I know. Essentially just an experiment that might work, might also not work. And if it does work, then I might look into making videos like this on other topics in the future because it's something I'm very interested in. So yeah, anyway, tell me in the comments down below of what you think of this kind of type of video. Don't, don't just focus on the subject too much because that's not the point here. The point here is to try to learn how to construct a story, how to edit a story, all those kind of things. That's, that's my main intention here, um, pretty much. So uh, yeah, well, but again, I'm not mad. I'm just really disappointed and it's very easy to do this. With disappointment, you can accurately call out and destroy those that are wrong easily. And uh, you can also make yourself look like an idiot for about one hour straight on the internet very easily. So... And you walking clown show, you shut your mouth before you even start talking. Is he evil? No. Is he the biggest scammer alive? No, because that's this guy. And um, yes, that's, that's for you. Is he a liar? Absolutely. Thinks he knows what he's talking about even though he absolutely knows nothing. And if you're wondering why I'm not blinking, I'm wondering the same thing as well. How do we improve this problem? Because most likely, if there is a reaction, which I, for his sake, I really hope there isn't, just, just ignore this, right? This never happened. You can only make it worse for yourself, trust me. You can say bad things about me, that's okay. I get that, right? You say bad things about me, try to deflect, it's okay. He's P 
pissed that he doesn't have a lot of quality and at the same time he says that he's not investing a lot of quality into his videos. So what is, what is it going here? And nobody would you objectively ever conclude that the videos that he is making are of high quality. So that is the first thing that needs to change right here. And to save his very precious time from making a reply, I will now make the reply for him. You can now see that right here. I literally come into my comment section for about 10 seconds and then I cry and honestly that's like me saying that Martinator doesn't comprehend gibberish and honestly garbage. Nah, that, that's not it. I do not understand. At the end of the day, Martinator is one of the best, credible, most enjoyable and fun World of Tanks Blitz YouTubers by double. Probably the major reason why a lot of people would want to get their hands on this bigger crate. Doesn't matter how big my penetration, Martinator is 200 at thickest. What does that mean? Now, I could really come into my comment section if where I saw a Martinator penetration. You're about to watch him. I do it all the time. That's, we can see it right there. Um, okay. Let's whip out my penis. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Wow, I, I don't, I don't have words. It's just too big. And obviously, it's better. But, um, unfortunately, this is fully clickbait. This is actually incorrect. It might be a little bit garbage, and that's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. You heard the man, didn't you? Now, obviously, that was a piece of satire stitched together, but that's about what I would expect a proper reply to be in that case. If there is a reply, that's gonna be my answer. Uh, all I did was just show his clips together with other context from him. So there isn't really anything to do about it. I simply just presented the evidence as I saw it and obviously made a lot of jokes because they're funny. He's a circus act that shouldn't be taken serious. If you get genuine advice from him, it might be accurate, but I always recommend double, triple checking it, whatever happens, because there is simply no trustworthiness or credibility left that could ever be given in that case. Always find yourself somebody else that says it, or ideally just watch his better clone. Do you see that right? Level 50 smasher. Woohoo! Let's go gamers. Make something that is useful and also contains information in a condensed and good kind of way. Rather than making 10 videos about the same topic and the same tank, make one good condensed one that is of high quality. That would be the very simple answer. I mean, there is a great example I could come to mind is that is of Linus Tech Tips, who were essentially annihilated by Gamers Nexus in this video that I highly recommend checking out. Yes, there's a problem. And the LTT did then institute a couple of changes that they seem to have been following so far. So change like that is certainly possible. This part kind of saddens me having to make it, right? Because there was a time when I had hope. There was a time when I thought and I looked at it and it was like, this is a uncut diamond that could, with the right tools and the, the right approach, become a great YouTuber for the World of Tanks Blitz community. But the exact opposite happened. The diamond crumbled and all that is left is a black mess of carbon and other black things, but... At the end of the day, this is the internet. And if those of you want to come into my comment section and cry and complain that I'm calling someone else out, then maybe you just shouldn't be on the internet. So now that we're done here, let's ask the person that actually truly matters, you. What do you think about this entire situation? Would you continue to watch? Have you ever watched in the first place? What is your opinion on this thing? Because at the end of the day, I do not hold the monopoly on opinion or reality. At the end of the day, there is a consensus that has to be formed in general. All I did here was present a couple of points that I thought are relevant, and now it is up to you to be the judge for yourself and decide whether the points made here are going to be useful or relevant in your eyes or not. And if you don't think I'm big enough, brother, then you grab a hold of me and you'll know that I'm growing, my man. Just because you have views does not mean you are correct. So there is only one way to conclude this, and that is to walk away. There is simply no way that he's going to accurately reflect on the things he does. He's simply going to deflect, he's going to avoid, he's going to probably attack the person 
that is criticizing him because even though he has the right to criticize others, nobody has the right to criticize the God King of World of Tanks Blitz YouTube himself. You need to understand that your little jabs and your insults, it's all kitty games. Your arms are just too short to box with God. There is only one word to conclude this section with, and that is hashtag undrewed. <clears throat> I think we've made a lot of progress here today. I really do. <laughs> My dad, he never hugged me. I really should have made this section after weed becomes legal in Germany instead of before, but you know, you live and you learn. I've fallen off. I'm out here making tearless streams now. Now let's get to the really good ones. Now I'm clearly not one of them. I'm only a B tier YouTuber according to this B tier YouTuber. This video, it's probably gonna be the only one where I'm gonna do this because my facial features can best be described as Dumbo. There are a lot of great World of Tanks Blitz YouTubers out there. Now, unfortunately, a lot of the ones that were there and that were great at explaining the game were, were calm people that simply just did it for the fun and just brought actual value to the community, like Martin Dogger, like Armored Pants, not Pan... Well, I probably shouldn't mention Pantoof in the calm section, but he's in there. I like my T49 like I like my woman, without an instrument on it. Putain! People like 48 Ton Ruckus or Escape that are now gone, and that were essentially a lot more calmer, a lot more intended on actually making good videos rather than simply producing a mass consumer product with the intent to generate as much revenue as possible. Those are unfortunately gone and there are others that have also disappeared since then. For example, Object 3 hasn't been streaming in a very long time and there are many more that have since quit. And I will no doubt be part of that list eventually because making videos for this amount of time already and having the amount of videos that I've made, I feel like I've already said a lot of things that there aren't to say and the only thing I can now do is condense them, articulate them better or also, yeah, look at things that Wargaming is not doing so great, like the collector change, but um, I will not go anywhere because since I've been playing Blitz for a very long time, I've also picked up other things that I'm wasting my precious lifetime with that I will never get back, like that. So follow my Twitch channel if you want to see some of that in the future. This thing right here is essentially the first experiment into a new type of video that I kind of enjoy making and I'm gonna try to find out if this is something that I might be good at because the only way to find out if you're good at something is to try it because if you only do the things you're good at yeah you're never gonna find something you're never gonna find the next thing that is interesting and that's my problem with World of Tanks Blitz right I've achieved everything I've got all the tanks I know where my skill level is I can't really go any higher with that so there isn't really anything to do but with something like this I'm terrible right there is a lot of places to go, a lot of things to learn, which is a lot more interesting. Now, there are a lot of good World of Tanks Blitz YouTubers out there that you can watch instead of me, probably, I don't know, do you want to unsubscribe? Tell me in the comments. Just tell me anything in the comments that, again, you can insult me, it's okay. You have my permission to insult me, it's fine. But there are a lot of good YouTubers. Now, one of the very also somewhat controversial ones is Happy that I've already touched on earlier. And the only thing I'm going to show you about him is this. It's Happy and today Rage, 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 Rage. I hope you guys enjoy. Now, one of my personal favorites is what be Joe, and that for the simple reason that last year at Gamescom, I made him touch grass, which is one of my most important and greatest lifetime achievements. So thank you for sharing that amazing intimate moment with me. And then we have the main commentator for World of Tanks Blitz and one of the most legendary Blitz YouTubers ever, that is Bushka. Then there's Angel that kind of explains itself, so just check out it, you know him we get more dramatic and personal. Now we get to HD Android Gamer, who unfortunately has stolen my idea of Face the Derp that I have stolen from Des Games and has become very successful. I'm very happy for you, HD Android Gamer. I hope you sleep well at night. Okay. 
Even though he is lesser known, he is an extremely strong player and his editing quality is also top notch. I'm obviously talking about- My name's Nino. Definitely worth checking out. Ask him about giveaway codes and subscribe to him. Be tier YouTuber. Then there is Littlefinger who used to make shop reviews, but unfortunately he disappeared. Look at me. Judge me by my size, do you? Then there is Juicy Tender Steak, and I can tell you that my steak is the opposite of tender whenever I see him. And then we get to Timothy Chalamet's best role and the receiver of most attractive twink in World of Tanks Blitz for eight years in a row, his royal fatness. Obviously, he needs no introduction. His streams are a great way of learning to get better at the game because he has in-depth explanations of how he plays the game each stream. So I definitely recommend checking him out as well. However, there is one thing. One misconception that I have to talk about, I cannot sit on this any longer. Because if you think that his Royal Fatness is actually the best Type 59 player on the North American server, then you're very wrong about that. Because it's not him, it's me. And we can't forget new and improved clone, also known by the name of Flossie. And he is essentially doing the things right that the other guy was doing wrong. Less videos but longer, and also, this is, more, is a lot more funny. Enable donations, I wanna see you dance on a pole. Hello, Martimator, look at this. That's gonna have to be a big donation for that to happen, because first off, I don't have a pole and I'm too broke to buy one. And then second of off, uh, that's just, me doing that action is gonna cost more money, so you know. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what you're planning on clipping, but you, you go right ahead, I, I don't know. <laughs> If I can pay off my uh, my college student just to embarrass myself online, like sure, dude. I got the McDonald's M. I, they're basically getting free advertising from me, dude. That's how it works. Then there is Fujit, and he's old. Hello, hey everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Uh, that's a feature at this point. Let's proceed. With Tut mir leid für die kurze Störung. Okay. R1B, German streamer and YouTuber. If you speak German, he's a must-watch. Now there are many more World well, Thanks Blitz YouTubers out there, many of them I wasn't even aware of, and even more than I will be showing on the screen right now. So if you are a World of Thanks Blitz YouTuber that hasn't been mentioned and you happen to watch this, hello. I do recommend checking out a couple of the videos from all of these channels and maybe see if you've been missing out on some content all along. And maybe some of them will help you become a better player and maybe also a better person. And some will make you very hard. I should mention that I do not have any improved hardening. So what is your favorite flavor of World of Tanks Blitz YouTubers? Do you like someone that creates thoughtful content or someone that live streams or are you just here for watching memes or do you love someone that creates drama for money? And speaking of that note, I mean, even though I might be a hypocrite, I am not going to financially profit off something like this, which is why obviously this video is not going to be monetized. If you still want to support this channel via memberships or donations, I would very much appreciate that. But again, that is fully voluntary. If you ever find yourself trusting a random person on the internet that has no real life credentials whatsoever, what does that really say about you? While there are many great YouTubers out there in the world, there are many terrible ones as well. Like, for example, these scammers, which are just not great. They're everywhere. So they always use the same tactics, talk some bullshit to get relevant, maybe cling on to somebody else that already is relevant, then sprinkle in some words that somewhat make sense to gain a large audience. And then, once your large audience thinks greatly and highly of you, they will swarm to attack anybody that disagrees with you. Isn't that just a great thing to have? Well, not really. With an audience, you have a role model function if you want to or not. I'm a terrible role model. Don't be like me. Be better than me. I'll say it again. Everyone has the right to be imperfect. There is only one perfect person on this planet, and that is Kyriakos Grizzly. <laughs> now, there is only one thing to do in a situation. And then it's just simply not get into the drama. It's, we love drama. But that is why people do it again and again and again. And this is why I'm not going to do it again. Because that apology at the beginning of the video is in fact true. 
I am not going to talk about this again. I did it wrong once, now I'm doing it right, and I will never do it again. There are many great YouTubers out there that you can watch, and a lot of the great calm explainers have been replaced with clickbait if you look just hard enough. And trust me, every time I look at his royal fatness... Am I erect, you ask? Yes, and I have been for this whole video. You will find someone, and that is an enjoyable type of content. Or you can just look for cheap garbage entertainment that's mediocrely accurate, but if you're into that, be aware to not trust that type of YouTuber, right? There is so much trash TV in the world, and while it can be very entertaining, please don't take it at face value. Don't trust that. If you want to become a YouTuber yourself, however, be a His Royal Fatness, a Nino, a Skate Extreme, because they are great examples to learn from. And if you want to become a semi-literate baboon that looks like he regularly steals beans from the back sewers of an Aldi, that's my spot. Don't you dare. Blitz YouTube has come a very long way, and also probably still has a very long way to go, unless Wargaming decides to screw up the game again. It is easier to fool somebody than to convince them that they've been fooled. Now, I am a fool. Take that as you will. Thank you very much for watching. This is the April 1st video. If you're taking any of this serious, you probably shouldn't. If you want to sue me, no. What we're doing here is entertainment. So, if this was entertaining, then hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.